Hi, this is the CatCam Lessons channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a headphone holder for the SCADIS board, a popular board you can get from IKEA. It has many grooves where you can attach various types of hooks and by combining 3D design and 3D printing, we can create custom holders that suit our needs. I needed a headphone holder. It's a simple functional design, easy to make, but it works well. We'll create it using FreeCAD, a completely free 3D CAD system. You can use it for hobby projects or commercial ones. FreeCAD gives you a full freedom. It's developed as open source software. There is no need to register or share personal data. Just download and install it and you're ready to go. Let's move on to FreeCAD. I'll show you how to create the model, how to prepare it for 3D printing and how it turns out on my 3D printer. We'll start a new project in the part design workbench. You can click this icon or from the start page choose parametric part. You can have multiple projects open. As you see, I still have my earlier version open and now I'm starting this one from scratch. In 3D CAD, we usually begin by creating a 2D sketch and then we turn that sketch into a 3D solid by either adding or removing material. Click create sketch and choose a sketch plane XY, XZ or YZ. In this case, we'll use the XY plane, which is like viewing the part from above. Now we create the sketch. It's a fairly simple shape, but the tricky part was getting the dimensions right. Let me show you the earlier version. I'll close the sketch briefly. This shape is basic, but getting the part to fit the SCADIS groove correctly took a few tries. On my first attempt, the fit was too tight. I had measured only the maximum width of the groove Forgetting that the groove is curved inside, not flat. So when I modeled the part as a rectangular block matching the max width, it didn't fit. By the third attempt, I had it right with just slight clearance. Now once it clipped onto the board, it fits snugly and stays in place, allowing you to safely hang your headphones. Okay, back to the sketch. If you exit sketch editing, you can always return by double clicking on the sketch in the features tree. We'll draw the shape using the polyline tool. First, just outline the rough shape. Don't worry about dimensions yet, we'll add constraints in a moment. Right click twice to finish the polyline. Now let's add constraints. This line should be horizontal. Select it and click the horizontal constraint. This one should be vertical. Apply the vertical constraint. Select these four lines and apply equality constraint. and select these two lines and apply equality constraint. Now add dimensions, select this line, press D, enter 55 millimeters, this one 11 millimeters, Distance between these two points 4 millimeters. This line 5.5 millimeter. If you make a mistake, double click the dimension to edit it.
and underline 52 millimeters. And if the sketch shifts oddly, just adjust the sketch and reapply a few constraints. Select two points. Press H for horizontal alignment. Do the same for other pairs of points. Press V for vertical alignment where needed and add a final dimension 4 millimeters and the sketch is now fully constrained close the sketch and use the pad command Set the thickness to 4.5 and click OK. This forms the base of our holder. You can even save this part separately as a reusable base for other SCADIS board attachments. Now we'll add the next fragment of the part. Select this face, click Create Sketch and use the face as your sketch plane. Use external geometry to reference the edges. Now draw an arc using three points. First point, second point and third point anywhere. Then set the radius to 50 millimeters. Draw lines to close the shape. We need a closed profile to pad. Close the sketch. Choose pad and if it disappears, just enable reverse direction or use the up to face option. and click OK. Now let's add the element that keeps the headphones from falling. Create another sketch on this face. Reference this and this edge. Use the polyline tool and draw the shape by placing four points like this. Right click to finish. Select these two lines and apply a quality constraint. Select this line and press D and enter 10 millimeters. And now draw an arc using three points again. Set its radius to 50 millimeters. Close the sketch and add a five millimeters pad. I know I'm going quickly here, but I try to keep my tutorials concise. And the best way to follow is watch a section, pause the video, try the steps yourself in FreeCAD, then resume the video and continue. Don't try to model along with me in real time, it's too fast and may get frustrating. If you want to learn in a structured way, my FreeCAD for beginners tutorial is in linked below. Now let's add fillets.
hold control, select the corners. and apply a one millimeter fillet. And that's it, your headphone holder is ready. I designed this for the horizontal SCADIS board grooves. And to prepare this model for 3D printing, you need to export it. I use a Bamboo A1 printer and slice in Bamboo Studio, which supports step files, and if your slicer does too, export to step, it keeps the model as true solid. If your slicer only supports STL, that works too. Just know that STL files are meshes, which are harder to modify later. To export this solid, select the last operation or the body. Go to File, select Export, choose the format, step or STL, name the file, and click save. Make sure your units are correct, and then click OK. Now I'll switch to Bamboo Studio, click Add Model, Select the file and import it. I use the default settings for PETG filament. For quick prints I select 0.28 extra draft preset. Sometimes I increase the number of walls from 2 to 4 or 5 to make the part stronger. Then go to the preview tab to check the layers. I print from memory card so I click export plate sliced file to save it. Then I insert the card into the printer and start the print. In a moment I'll show you the printed part in fast forward. Thanks for watching and if you'd like to learn FreeCAD quite quickly and step by step, check out the training lesson in the description and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.